All right, so today is a Wednesday, which is normally not a day that I would stream, and I'm actually gonna put this part on the YouTube video that's gonna come out with this because there's a little bit of an announcement to make. Uh, there is a Twitch link in the description, and there's a Discord link in the description, and you should definitely click on both of those. And the Twitch link will be exceptionally useful to you on Wednesday afternoons because I will be streaming Creeper World every Wednesday for a couple of hours. And the Discord link is also incredibly useful because if you go to the Discord channel, there is a channel called Suggestions. And if you put the word Creeper World in your message in that channel and then give me a map ID, I am going to be playing mostly user suggested maps. The two that I'm going to be playing today, I don't know exactly what I'm getting myself into. This is probably going to be a bit uh, masochistic, masochistic, however you pronounce that. Um, uh, because people are inevitably going to pick the hardest things that they can possibly find or purposefully create unbeatable maps in order to try to get me to play them. But yeah, it is what it is. So those two links are there for your uh, usage and we're just gonna kind of see how this goes. Brink a brink a kiss stick. <laughs> all right, all right. So this one was suggested. I really should have looked. I will probably put it in the description. It is called The Turtle Hermit and apparently, or I'm sorry, the author is Turtle Hermit. The title is Resource Wonderland and this was apparently made specifically for me. I don't know exactly what that means and I don't know exactly whether or not um, this is going to play to some specific weaknesses of mine. Well, one way or the other, we're gonna run with it. Well, look at the resources this planet has to offer. It does offer a lot, but as with all things in life, our struggle will likely be defined by what we don't have rather than what we do. What do you mean? I was so busy working on my all new patent pending do it all weapons that I may have accidentally broken the schematics for all of our weapons. <laughs> this is already boating super well. What? The good news is, we still have a few pulse cannons left. Unfortunately, I don't think anything else will be operational for a while. Anything else you want to tell me? Two things. First, it looks like we have a large source of ether that we should we should build a forge and see if we can use the gravity cannon to create an advantage on the far side of the world. So there's a hint as to how this thing should go. Second, maybe I should like make a post-it note and put it right there on the monitor so I can remember that this is a thing later. Come on, Brink. Focus, focus, it is a useful thing to put the gravity cannon to use. Second, my analysis indicates that if we do not save that Bertha, we will not succeed in this mission. All right, so saving the Bertha is of the utmost priority, which means we need to go out here and try to get this thing done. Uh, next. Well, alrighty then. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so, yeah, obviously this has taken a bit of a, uh, uh, yeah. Okay then. Make a post-it note? I should totally. Alright, so, let us take a look-see at this. There are a couple of these guys. There's a couple of cannons over here that I can potentially pick up. There's three mortars on the other side. There are spore cannons! Which are going to be a lovely thing to grab a hold of, and thankfully there is actually an anti-creep emitter on this node. I was wondering how it was going to prevent that thing from falling immediately. Probably it won't fall until all of these connect. So we'll have a couple minutes to deal with this, but it's going to have to be done very quickly. So it looks like this person has intentionally disrupted... Oh, reactors only cost one. Oh my goodness, he's trying to provide a way for me to not power stall, and I'm eternally grateful for that. Uh, shields, I only have three shields. We have three cannons, three nullifiers, no mortars, no sprayers, one forge, and all of our command centers are deployed. So, I'm thinking that since all of this is protected by shielding, we should probably just slap down a nullifier straight away. Because I would imagine that as long as I put it within the protective grasp of my shielding, at least as much as possible, we should be able to eliminate these. Should being the operative term here, because obviously nothing in this miserable life that we live is guaranteed. Uh, that actually is kind of sketch, because it feels like... 
I am just too close to love you. Um, this is gonna be. I'm in a weird mood today, guys. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm not going to apologize for that. Weird moods are fun to be in. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, killer. Uh, yeah, the Bertha that I'm supposed to get is up here. Okay, so we're gonna see how this goes. That was all three of our cannons and all three of our nullifiers. So I'm just going to assume that that is hopefully the thing that we can do. The other thing I need to do, hold on, we're gonna, I, I apologize for pausing this. One, two, three. We're gonna make relays in between each of these. One, two, three. So that we can make our connections all the way across because I feel like that is gonna be a super important thing for later. And then, we need to get our forge down ASAP, because we have an absolutely ungodly level of ether at our disposal, and we should definitely, definitely do this thing. Like, I don't even know how on earth. Wait a minute, these are, oh, those are all mines, okay. So then we have a stupendous amount of energy, and a mind-boggling amount of ether. This person literally wanted to make it so that I physically could not power stall. That is what's going on here. All right, let's let these guys finish and then we're gonna use uh, relays to get out here because we're gonna have to do something to get out this way. I'm going to assume that there's a beamer here. Like, surely, yep, there we go. Surely it didn't give me super weaponry just to let me die to a single spore. Surely. Armed, I'm sorry. I pause the game a lot because I do it in the interest of being slightly more efficient than my low APM would otherwise let me be. No! You bastard. You gave me the false hope of circles of power and then you've denied me. Oh my good. Okay, well, all right. Uh, strategic options. We have our three nullifiers back. We can't build the nullifiers on circles of power. We can't get out here. What the hell? Okay, hold on. We have a, we have, oh, we have a disc here I can connect to. This is probably where I need to go. Come on, Mr. Disky. Get up here. What does the message say? It appears to be a taunt for one Admiral Frank. I bet you, I bet even you can't power stall on this one. Odd. <laughs> Fan freaking tastic. All right, uh, we gotta do, we gotta do fire range as much as we can, fire rate as much as we can. I'm just gonna burn a hundred percent of this ether on fire range and fire rate. And then we'll carry on with the other things. Listen, this has gone like full homage. It's not even... Hold on. Wait a second here. I don't even have guppies. How the hell do I cross the gap if I don't even... Oh, there we go. Okay. So essentially, with all of the range and fire rate upgrades, we are actually capable of spreading our lovely blue goodness out to the far island. That is a fantastic thing. All right, so let's go out here with some relays. We're gonna go connect out here and connect over here. Only we can't do that because there's this lovely little thing called massive amounts of digitalis on the island and we're going to plant there and then we're going to do the same thing over on this side we're going to take a relay we're going to plant there we're going to take a relay plant there we're going to take our turret and go right across the top and i'm actually going to devote two turrets to this side because this side looks a little bit less affected by the anti-creep than the other so hopefully oh oh dear digitalis 100%. That has got to be Digitalis. Okay, weapons, nullifier, boom, nullifier. Ooh, we gotta get a little closer here. Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. 
All right, so we're gonna move our cannon up here. We're gonna structure relay right up there. Oh, that is close. Oh, that is close. Uh, Digitalis, please. Thank you very much. And then we need our other nullifier here. Nope. Can't quite. Ugh. We are slowly but surely delaying the spread of this, but it is not a good situation. Digitalis only, please. We are almost at failure point here. Come on. Hold on. Pause. Move. Yes! Okay. If we can clear this quickly enough, there is still a chance. But it is only a chance. Oof, 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 oof. I should have gone for the other one first. We're at half HP and anti-creep is spread, so we're low on the damage. That's good. That's good. Um, come on, come on. Kill it with fire before it lays eggs, and then we're gonna move over. All right, uh, structure relay right there. Whew. Yeah, I gotta collect the extra guns. You're right, you're right. We're gonna get this done. It's fine, it's fine. Do we have, we do not have any beamers. This is gonna be a royal pain in my buttocks. All right, so we collected two pulse cannons. Fires at the nearest creeper does light damage, additional number two. I've been able to undo the corruption on some more of the pulse cannon schematics. Good, see what you can do about the mortars. All right, so we gotta get over there. Um, I am tentatively hopeful. Let's go ahead and connect the Bertha. So I'm thinking we should probably go relay here because we can make a very nice connection indeed across here. And then we're going to need to get all the way across here to this side. And unfortunately, I simply do not have any sprayers. So we're gonna use this lovely, lovely, hold on, 25%, 25% is as low as I can go. Lovely thing called a gravity cannon. And we're just gonna zappity doo -dah this thing and drag this entire front edge clean for Apparently 300 freaking seconds. Okay, that's cool. Nullifier, nullifier. Hold on. I need this, like, oof. Okay. Cancel that. Go there. We gotta, we gotta structure that for Digitalis and make it work for us. Uh, you were gonna go over there. And then we should be able to get a nullifier down on this rung here. So we just kind of got to play it a little bit safe and hope for the best. This is going to be the most guard. Why is this not connected? Hold on a minute. Do I need... Let me let this nullifier run before I do anything here. Because we may end up with a slight issue. Need more energy efficiency upgrades? <laughs> nah. No, no. No, no. All right, so that was on the turret. There we go. So what we're gonna do is we are going to run this backwards. We're going to switch to this, destroy this, and then we're gonna make a collector here, which will be able to connect. So that's gonna be our solution there. Then we got 266 seconds, and this has been cleared. So we're gonna drop a nullifier there and a nullifier not over there because we are going to need to move up. I only have, no, 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 no. I got two more cannons. So we have two cannons to work with. Collected, Ooh, three sprayers, yes. Okay, hells, yeah. Sprayers are love and sprayers are life. Why are you talking so funny? Because reasons and stuff and things. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Kudos to you for nailing this. All right, so why did I not do this earlier? This map has actually been out for a while and I have just not been playing Creeper World and I have missed it. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's do always on on this one. Did I get that? I did get that. So this is just going to make a gigantic lump of anti-creep down here that we can hopefully use to hold our position 
and maybe not be directly affected by the spores that are inevitably headed in my direction and will get zapped off. Good, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I know, right, Neredity? It's like, it, this is the best. Around. Nothing's ever gonna bring me down. All right, you go there. Now we have the most stupid amount of anti-creep that has ever been creeped. Uh, that is absolutely going to protect everything on this side. So let's go relay. I need to stop pausing. I'm sorry. I abused that button extremely hard by force of habit. Uh, we're going to put a anti-creep turret up here. We've got a cannon available that can go in right there. This channel cutting this entire thing in half is a very interesting doohickey. I do believe. All right. Uh, let us do one of our guys over this way as well. That will actually work. Um, I'm going to get a nullifier in. Hopefully, yes. Right. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so we're going to go down to our forge and we're going to fire the singularity cannon over here. Because I believe that with that, yes, we will suck everything over. So let's get our nullifier there. Good, good, good. That'll knock two more of these out. And then we should have a clear path right up through the middle. I don't think there will be any difficulty with this at all, especially considering the fact that I'm not even collecting creep here. It's just, it's all being eliminated completely and quickly. Let's knock this over here. I don't even have any terps, do I? This is just a take everything back good that I said about this map. This is just an abysmal failure. All right, so there's that. We need a set of packet speed and build speed upgrades. So let's do that. Maximize those. And then we need our strategy for overcoming the task ahead. I think that we don't need those mortars. However, it's probably stupid not to go for the mortars because obviously more tools are more better. So let's do this. That was a lot of, oh boy. Is there any way? There's not, and there's not any beamers available. So basically spores are my Achilles heel. That is what's going on here. All right, I see how it is. Screw that, but also I respect your right to do so. Let's go over here. We are going to set you to digitalis only. And then we're going to get a relay across the bottom. And then I am going to double connect all relays so that optimistically a single barrage will not take them out again. Oh, wait, no, I built the wrong thing. Destroy. No! Relay. All right, weapons, sprayer, go. Yes, fantastic. You're set to always on. You're set to digitalis only. Why are you not firing? I do not understand. Collected the mortars, fantastic. Now, let me get back down to business. Okay. I guess that will have to do. Yes, indeed. Although that is not my friend. Yes, Dunst. I do realize, but my god, this is annoying. Okay, so we've officially eliminated this position, and we spaced them just too far apart. Just too far apart. Ah, okay. Structure, relay, go. Hit you. Uh, always on, set, good, 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 and then that is going to be another relay down there. All right, so we are better maintaining ourselves with that, so that is fantastic. Let's go ahead and just take this, oh, 15k is all we got. That is what's going on here. All right, so we are going to apply a 25% here and another 25% finish here. So this is going to hopefully retract every iota of creep from this area 
And then we are going to take you two, and possibly you as well. Uh, we're going to set all of you to Digitalis, and then we're going to start creeping. Uh, there is no reason whatsoever that we will not be able to move up into the Digitalis here. Actually, there is a reason. Let me select all of you again. Uh, we're going to drop you there for the moment. Uh, relay. 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 Come on. Come on. Get up there. There we go. All right. So we move up. Eliminate all the Digitalis that remains. Why are you... How did that die twice? What on earth? What on earth is up with that? Move back down. Oh, that build speed is tremendous. Okay. We're going to get back down here. And we're going to go back up again. That auto target is a beautiful thing. It really is. All right. So there's the Digitalis down. So then we need to move up slightly get a relay built that's a little bit closer and then that's gonna suck the anti-creep up good 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 oh oh boy oh boy uh that is not so great all right we're gonna take all of you off of digitalis and put you on creeper to beat that back and then i think we need a higher placed a higher placed source. Uh, this is where we start running into major optimization problems. Because I do not have... Hold on. I do. We've not moved up. This is exactly what I need. Okay. We have not moved up our other turrets. Now that one is in range and on a circle of power, so I'm not actually going to move it. But we need this other one to come up and there go all of our turrets. All right, so you sit down here and try to protect us. Every freaking time. All right, relays galore. Make all of our connections twice so that hopefully we do okay. <sighs> Keep in mind that you 100% rely on those mine deposit thingies. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're at 300 seconds up here though, so I think we're okay. Like, I genuinely think we're okay. But I do realize now that I probably shouldn't have moved. If I move this, uh, okay. So we're gonna need, I have three of these. We're gonna need one of these at least here, set to Digitalis, because I am not going to be able to hold this otherwise. This will creep back down and take over my entire thing. So that has got to be a thing. So there it goes. It's killing the stuff. We're fine. All right. So this is now a non-issue. Um, we have two more. So let's build those. And we're going to want to set those to Digitalis as well. Once they're built, they will immediately start firing. Okay. Now, this, let me go up to visibility and we're going to check opaque creeper. Because I want to be sure. Yes, this is all anti-creep. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up the far right side instead of coming down this other way. Um, I'm just going to drop these guys right up here and we are going to set down a sprayer right next to them. That sprayer is going to be set, yes, to always on. Good, good, good. And all of the rest of this will take care of itself. So I think that we're doing all right here. We've got 316 on the other side, so that's fantastic. Now we've made our hole. Let's make our connection. I may have made a drastic error here. Back up. Multiple relays or multiple connections just in case things come through a little bit badly. Then we make our drop again. Come on. Do the thing. Relay as quickly as we can, as close as we can. Can I get there? We can get there. All right, so there's our relay built. Excelente, 245 on this, and here come all the spores. Fantastic, fantastic. Rebuild those, rebuild those, come on. What was re relay, 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 okay. It's all relays, it's fine. All right, so we've layered in all of our relays. We've got our multiple connections every which way that we can think of, and now we're going to hop up again. So let's go up, move up right in the middle there. Oof, 
We are already starting to lose our relay connections, but it's okay. We've got plenty of anti-creep in the area, and I think we'll be fine. Get you there, get you there, get you there. And we've stepped up again. So now, that is a cool physic. You can see how this spurt comes out, moves out down the digitalis, and then into the black hole's attraction. That is actually kind of amazing. All right, so let's connect up here. Dire Crow, Derek. Wow, my apologies. Thank you very much for the second month of Prime subscription, dude. Appreciate it. Does it count as power stall if the relay collector lines turn from white to red? Uh, it is the color of power stall. It is a nice reminder of power stall, but it is not, at its core, true power stall. To truly power stall, one must not have cheat mode enabled, which I think is kind of what is going on here. All right, we're gonna get our relays in. Good. Uh, now, the safest area to establish this nullifier appears to be right here. But we're going to need a bit of a presence in the area first because it apparently does not always go our way. So we're going to try this where I'm going to put you two up there. I'm gonna put you right here. Okay, so you're gonna be Digitalis. You're gonna be Digitalis. You are going to be on straight up anti-creep duty, which is uh, definitely a thing that an anti-creep sprayer can do. And then we're going to connect everything up here. We are going to hope for the best. Good lord. Okay, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. Once anti-creep takes a hold on digitalis networks, it goes to devastating effect uh, against all of the creeper that's on there. You can see we've got this very firmly oh good lord can you not wrest control of my network away from me and now it's a cascading wave that's going to cause all kinds of problem everywhere uh... it was so close so freaking close you could feel it ah move all right so these guys have got to move back we've got to kind of reevaluate our situation here our spores are pretty well expended so i think we'll be okay ish all right let's get you marked over to digitalis we are going to try this one more time he is not one of us thank you very much for the bits dude oh you're right i do have mortars Durr. All right. Uh, mortar, mortar, mortar. That is definitely a thing that I should be taking advantage of. We're going to take these guys and move them right back up to the top. Which is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be initially. But we're going to succeed at it. Then we need to take our relays back over this way. Come on, come on. Get in there. And that is going to make our connections to everything everywhere. Okay. Quick as we can, nullifier in business. Because we need to get this thing built before the rest of this crap comes online. Also, I am going to connect another Digitalis guy up here. Because I can potentially sever this entire thing from the rest of the Digitalis network. Which I would be extremely grateful for and i'm just going to make up for the stability of my connections with the quantity of the relays employed because that's absolutely how this works right yes we got everything eliminated all right so the only thing i have to do now is i have to get to this guy over here and to do that we are going to take all of our lovely stuff we're going to move it over here and we're going to take the fight to them get relays down relays down everywhere hallelujah we just need to get this last little disc over here only not going quite as well as i thought it would yeah really stream on a wednesday it's a new thing i'd love to see a forage dump 100 percent into that mess all right let's do it 100 percent fire yeah we'll see how long that actually goes for on what 9,000 was it 941 seconds <laughs> oh, about as long as the entire playtime here is your answer okay we just need to get all of this 
depleted, and then we can run get that CD up there. The data disk, whatever it is. I don't know. Let's get up there. We are going to hop, skip, and jump with a relay. Can I actually make a relay? Oh, oh, no, oh, never mind. I was thinking that I might be able to do the thing. <gasps> was that a siphon depleted? That was a siphon depleted message. Why was there a siphon depleted message? Did I actually? I depleted one siphon. Oh, no, 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 no. There is ether over here as well. Oh, and you had all of this. I should play this as a challenge. I should try to power stall. I don't know that I even could power stall. But I should try to power stall, like just, just to do the thing. Okay, so here comes our stuff. We can get a relay in there, and there, and there. Excellent. So here comes our data disk. I don't think I could actually power stall. I don't think there is enough that I can possibly draw unless... No, because I can't terraform. I don't think there's enough room to build reactors to actually power stall. Especially since the reactors only cost one. It would have to be like 2,500 reactors. So I would have to build multiple sets of reactors over and over and over and over and over again to deplete the energy reserves. And then I would have to schedule so many reactors that we could not supply them. I'm not even going down this road. Leah, tell me more about this Admiral Brink. There are limited records, but from what I can tell, he hated quests that required he picked up objects after he completed the main objectives. <laughs> we will never top this level of meta, okay? Never. There's also records that indicate his fleets and armies never had sufficient power to function. I feel- yes, Pegasus. I have been trolled to perfection by this map. Holy freaking hell. Alright, 16 minutes is gonna slot us in. We're gonna submit that score. That's gonna slot us in at slot number 16 with 16 minutes. Out of 52, thank you very, very much for making this map. That was a treat. I had an excellent time. And again, there's links in the description for uh, both Discord and for Twitch if you would like to join in the party. <laughs> that is gonna wrap everything up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like and share it with someone. If you wanna support the channel, catch the streams or join the Discord, check out the links in the description. Thank you all for being at least partially insane, and I will see you in the next one.